What Ketamine Does to a Person First approved as an anesthetic in 1970, ketamine has traveled a strange path. It started in operating rooms. The drug could knock people unconscious without affecting their breathing. This safety profile made it especially useful in field hospitals and emergency situations. By the 1990s, ketamine found a new home in nightclubs. Ravers embraced it as Special K. They sought the euphoric states and detachment it provided. This dissociative quality gives ketamine its distinct character among recreational drugs. The high lasts about an hour. During this time, users feel disconnected from their physical form. Emotions become distant, abstract concepts. Time stretches and contracts unpredictably. In recent years, ketamine has reinvented itself yet again. Researchers discovered it can rapidly reduce depression symptoms. This led to FDA approval of esketamine, Spravato, in 2019. The drug works by altering the physical circuitry of the brain, but ketamine's growing popularity brings serious concerns. Frequent, heavy use carries significant risks. Studies show that even using it three times monthly can increase delusional thinking. People who take it 20 times a month score even higher on delusion scales. These regular users develop distinctive psychological profiles. They suffer profound memory impairments, both short and long term. They often believe they receive secret messages meant only for them. Many develop a sense that society is especially attuned to their presence. These effects don't typically end when the high wears off. The changes persist in daily life for heavy users. They remain distinctly dissociated in their day-to-day -day existence.